hopefully this is working. It should be working. It looks like it's working. Hello there. I need to get all my hair out of my face, but yeah. Hello there. It's me again, back with another shitty video. But this time, I have got a mere 7 too. I ended up buying this yesterday. If you can't tell, I just woke up because so my voice is really croaky. I just had a wash. So I'm feeling a bit more refreshed, but my voice is still a bit. Uh, I love this camera. I've wanted one for a while now, and I managed to get one for a pretty good price with like a lot of film. The person that I bought it off said they used it a week or two ago, so it is working. But it seems to be working. There's only one problem with it that I found, and that is a tiny little ding on the lens. But that's like where the thread is for the filter, so it's not actually anything that will affect shooting. Yeah, I've only used this camera a few times before, but from those few times, I know I've wanted. I knew. I just knew I wanted one. I got it for a very good price because otherwise, I would not have bought one because they are a lot of money. If you want like one in good condition, like, this is pretty good condition. It's just got a few scuffs on it from just normal use, and the lens is phenomenal. Like, I have, I, I don't think I would have been able to get this camera for the price that I got it at unless the person needed to get rid of it, which they did. I got like, I think 10, 15 rolls of film with it as well, so that's pretty good. And it's, I've got some portrait in there, some Fuji 400H, I think. I don't know what it's actually called. I've never shot it before. I was going to make a quick video about it and just take it out. And see if it's actually working because i don't know but yeah i've also ordered a roller flex 2.8 af so that's gonna be fun <laughs> i guess let's just get into the video oh i've been recording for quite a while for over five minutes damn this is gonna be very condensed now. see you in a bit let's go take some photos was on because I am now officially a certified film YouTuber because I've got one of these. I'm going to show you how to load it even though everyone knows. I just thought it would be quite a cool part of the video. I've got some Ilford HP5. It went out of date in 2017. I don't know why I just use normal scissors, they're right here. It'd be a lot smarter. Just snip. There we go. Easy. Easy peasy. You made that look really hard. There we go. There's my roll of film. Look at that. Ooh, sexy. Yeah, so you open it with this little button here. You just push that, pull down, and it opens. Like a 35mm camera. I'm pretty sure you push this button here. Yes, you do. Yeah, you, you, you unravel your film, you chuck everything everywhere and make it really messy. You put the film in the little a holder thing you pull it across oh wait hold on i swear you meant to do that first aren't you oh I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna do that get your film and you put this little end bit in the end there it should be able to just wrap around a bit it's almost there okay that'll do and then you wind it on do 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 you wind it on, you wind it on until that arrow is lined up with that tiny little arrow there. You probably can't see it very well. Just, ooh, voila. Click it back into place. Voila. You have a loaded, 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 loaded the Mir 7. See a little film counter there. Wind. It can wind again. It can wind again. Oh, sh I thought you had a wine and shoe. Number one. Hell yeah. Professional. Can I try your board for me? Yeah. So this is a few hours later. I just went down to Bowles and I took a few photos of Sam and Caleb. I think a few people turn up later if they do. You will see the photos and I'll pop back in again to confirm. <laughs> I want the trucks to be tighter, but they're just annoying. Nah, you lose the trucks, 
<laughs> Hello, I am back again as I said I would be, but this time I'm in a completely different place and I've got loads of completely different things because this video began just under a month ago. Just over a month one of the two over or under a month ago today i said screw it i'm gonna get everything done i scanned like 30 40 photos not all of them were for this but if you notice i said i scanned photos and that is because i've now got a scanner it is the epson b550 professional shit. basically i tried to get a digital scanning setup and i got this pad which was like a light pad and my teacher had one and it was the most amazing thing ever and I was like oh my god that's so much cheaper than getting a scanner I'm gonna do that so I bought one of the light things but it came with like this weird I'm using it as the light right now that's the only thing it's good for it's actually used it makes good lighting like yeah it's got this weird like mesh thing over it and it just completely ruins it when you try and scan with it because you get this weird hexagonal black and white you get this weird hexagonal black and white pattern in the backgrounds and where shadows aren't but yeah yeah i got a scanner so that's done i'm just going to talk through some of the photos here bear with me i'm going to get the photos up so i can talk about them yeah the first photo this one here over here somewhere it is uh it's caleb going around the bowl i nailed focus pretty well um i just think it's quite a cool photo there's nothing much to it uh, this one, like the ones like these, I'm not really thinking about what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get this image that I have in mind, like this and this one here, like they're pretty much the same. There's just not much to them. I do like this one though. This one, this one looks a bit cooler. Um, this is just like the other one of Caleb. It's just, eh, it's the worst one. That one again is just pretty boring. I like this one. I think I could have focused a bit better. But from what I have, this is pretty good. I really like this one of Sam. This might be my favourite photo. Um, I wish I gave him a bit more headroom though, because he seems like he's just a bit, a bit up from where I thought he was going to be in the photo. But it turns out quite nice. I like the composition. I think it adds a bit more width than if I just got a more traditional composition for my style, if that makes sense. This one of Sam, just pretty boring, just dropping in or something. This one of Caleb, I quite like this one. I really wish I focused better on his face, but I did manage to focus a bit. That's the only thing with the Mimir 7 that I find a bit weird is the focusing, but it's just because I'm not used to rangefinders. This one of Sam, pretty shit. Close his eyes, bit of a mug. This one of Sam, right. This is the first photo that I took with the Mimir 7. I said that earlier on in the video. Well, I didn't say it, I just edited it in. But yeah, this is this is a great photo of Sam. I absolutely love this. I think this is my idea when I think of Mimir 7s. Random photo, complete shit in focus. But I tried to focus on the little mine in the background. I said little, it's a fucking huge mine in the background. And that is a pretty boring photo, to be fair. I really want to do more still life, but I need to get closer to my subjects to make interesting photos. Uh, oh, actually, you can see this one. This one's quite nice. This could be a good fans app, but I quite like that one. It's really simple, but it, it looks quite nice. And this one of Sam. Um, I just, I try. I mean, I know. I remember when I tried to get this composition. I tried to do the golden spiral where it like goes up. I tried to get the golden circle composition to go from the bottom left up around through like the bags to Sam, but I'm really terrible with that type of composition and it just didn't work, but it kind of worked. I kind of like it, it's alright. Pretty standard photo there, just boring. That one's quite cool. I like the depth in it. But yeah, this one actually, I, like, I prefer this one to the other one. Um, Oh yeah, this is when I think a few more people showed up, but this is Harry Stevens, the best skater I've ever met, and he's absolutely insane. I really wish I had more photos of him doing skate tricks, 
I just got this one of him pulling a face. I do really like this photo, to be fair. It's, this, it's between this one and the one of Sam, where it's just stood there, that are my favourites. Another one of Sam. I quite like this one. It's just really simple. I just like the point how you can see gradually throughout his body it gets out of focus. This one of Caleb is so cool. Um, it's getting big bowl, although because he's a giant, it doesn't even look that, look that big, but it is, it is big. But yeah, this one, I really like this one. I'm happy with this. Another one of Sam, just chilling. Yeah, so it's just average. Oh, and that is it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've got a few more videos to make soon and I'll actually be able to make better quality videos now. Uh, if you have enjoyed, remember to like, comment and subscribe. If you're watching this on Instagram, follow my Twitter. If you're watching this on Twitter, follow my Instagram. If you're watching this on anything, follow me on everything and anything. I shall see you in a bit. Share this video everywhere. Um, yeah, follow my Twitter, my Instagram, my YouTube. Facebook page. Can't think of anything else to plug.